Winter, spring, summer, fall. I'm about to stay at them all. I know that was a horrible joke. I didn't think of it. Dr. Seuss did. Blame him. Guys, I'm really excited and nervous about this video. Anytime that I'm staying at a super fancy place, <laughs> my stomach feels like it's going to take a trip to Rhea town. Today, for the first time in my life, I am staying at the Four Seasons Hotel. I'm gonna be reviewing the room, the amenities, and everything else, but most importantly, I'm gonna be reviewing the room service for 24 hours, lunch, dinner, and then breakfast tomorrow morning. And you might be thinking, Timmy, this room must be very expensive. And on top of that, you're gonna be eating very expensive food for 24 hours, yes. That's all very true. And that's why I need you to support this video. <laughs> Give it a big thumbs up. It'll really help me out. Every time that I make a very pricey video, it is a risk because I'm not a famous YouTuber. And if it flops, <laughs> then it was all for nothing. So give it a big thumbs up. It would really mean the world to me. And if you're new here, subscribe. I make hotel reviews, fast food reviews. Quick disclaimer, I know this is a very luxurious place and I'm very grateful that I'm able to stay there for a night. Thanks to you guys. But I am going to be totally honest and I am going to critique it. But I don't want to come off as ungrateful. When I've critiqued very pricey places in the past, people have told me, you should be grateful to be staying there. I am, girl. But this is my job, reviewing things. So if, if the food is trash, I'm going to say four seasons, more like four dumpsters. <laughs> now, I know that a lot of you are probably wondering, Timmy, how expensive was this room? Let's talk about it. So I got it through Priceline because I think that it, it was a bit cheaper than the other places. The room itself was $449.99 for one night. But there was also a hotel fee that was $55.37 and taxes and fees were $75.99. So the room by itself was $581.35. So almost $600 before food, possible parking, possible other fees we don't know yet. All these rich places love to surprise you with, you know, a water fee of eight thousand dollars <laughs> give me some agua so for now it was 581 and with the food and tips and all those different things it's probably gonna get way past seven hundred dollars <laughs> And this location is the Four Seasons in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So let's go have a great time, explore all the seasons, the whole place, and eat tons of food. I'm ready! Okay, we are four minutes away. Ah! Guys, Four Seasons is a five-star hotel. So this is my second five-star hotel because technically I think that the Guitar Hotel was a four-star. I think even though it felt like luxurious and bougie also it is only 12 14 check-in is at three or or four but of course I called ahead and I asked if I could possibly check in early and they said that they couldn't guarantee it but they put like a little note so hopefully they let me check in early um at the Ritz I think I only had to wait like an hour and I got to check in I think around 1 30 to 2 so that wasn't too bad. You guys know me, like this is a favor that I'm asking for. So if they can't check me in until four, that's on me, girl, period. By the way, this is a beachside hotel. We are right next to the beach right here. Look, you can see it. There's the beach. Do you see it? Can you see it? I can't tell. Yeah, it's literally right there. So Oceanic Express. Traffic is literally at a standstill. So while we wait, let's do an outfit of the day. I am wearing this shirt that I've never worn before. I really like it. It's just a little tight, but isn't it pretty cute? I feel very four seasons. This tree is from the fall, this tree's from the summer, this tree's from the winter, and these manly pecs are from the spring. Two minutes now. I think I get nervous about these places because I feel like they know that I don't belong. <laughs> I don't mean that in like a bad way, like, ew, get out of here. I just mean it in like a way of like, my face says it all, girl, I'm like, hi. Is this wall gold? Is this toilet diamond? Like, okay, the road's clearing up, girls. We're almost there, one minute away. Your destination will be on the right. Oh, on the right. Oh, on the right? All the hotels are on the left, girl. I'm gonna go to the left. I don't trust Siri. She's she's out to get me. Breathe, Timmy, breathe. You belong. You're more beautiful than Cinderella. You're small, you pine needles. This face like sunshine. In 600 feet, your destination will be on the right. Where is it? There's nothing on the right besides Beach Girl. She really... Takato? No, that's not it. What's it, Takato? The Atlantic Hotel, where is it? Your no. destination is on the right. 
I'm just gonna turn left because there's nothing on the right. I'm at a red light, don't worry. You know what, I was using Google Maps, that's off brand. Hey Siri, navigate to the Four Seasons for Lauderdale. It's a minute away. Okay, it's in here I think. Getting lost makes me more nervous, guys. Imagine I walk into the Four Seasons and I'm like, excuse me, I have to take a purse. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Four Seasons! Do I go in here? Private residences, hotel, valet? Restaurants, events? It looks like I'm driving on a sidewalk. Why is this so tiny? Okay, I'm just gonna drive up here and ask where self-parking is. Hello, how are you? Four Seasons. Where's the self-parking? Or is there no self-parking? We don't have any self-parking. Okay, um, valet is, um, how much? Valet is... Uh, are you just, are you staying the night or are you just visiting? Um, staying the night. Staying the night, yeah. yeah so, uh, valet is $50 per okay. night, plus tax, and then you can have in and out privilege. Okay, perfect. Okay. Um, and I, um, leave it here? Yes. Okay. Just, uh, if you don't mind just pulling up just a little bit to the left okay. side right here, and we'll take care of you, okay? Welcome right there? Yes, that's perfect. Okay, Thank perfect. You so Do you have luggage as well? Uh, just a few little bags. I can take them, don't worry about it. I just walked in and missed my reaction because they were opening the door for me and I didn't have time to take out my camera, but fuck. Oh my God, girls. I'm shook it. I'm trying to be calm. So gorgeous. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, so I, I'm in the elevator area. Um, I just checked in. They asked if I wanted champagne, and it's really delicious. I feel so fancy. I tried to film as much as I could, but they're very attentive here. They're like kind of like on top of you in a professional way. Do you know what I mean? And so it, it was just kind of hard to film any of that checking in process, but we're gonna explore the whole place later. This is the most luxurious place I've been to so far. Like at least like the lobby area and the champagne and everything, I'm sure good. Anyways, let's go upstairs. These are the elevators, super fancy looking. Let's go in, a mirror. How do I hold all this? I have my champagne, I have my cabbage, oh, it's all too much. What floor am I on? Hold on, Girl, I can't do anything with the champagne in my hand. Okay, so I'm trying to use my key to make the elevator go and it's not going. Oh, why does this always happen to me? One second, right? Oh my goodness, hold on. It's a clean floor, it's fine, this is the Four Seasons. What if someone comes in? Oh my God, please don't. Okay, nine. Oh, it's going, it's going. Oh, it's going fast. Oh, girl. This is a rocket ship. Oh, my God. It's just hard to do everything with this champagne. Oh, uh -huh. no, this life is so hard. When I tell you the front desk people were so nice, it was like next level, like even nicer than the Ritz. Like they acted like I was the president. They <laughs> Ooh, look at this. Do the key things have lights on them? Like an elevator? Oh, my God. Look at these guys. Oh, oh my gosh. I have to strut with my champagne. One second. champagne on the floor because I can't carry it and do all this but I think it's fine. Is this a button? Oh, it's a doorbell. Girl, that's iconic. Okay. Oh my gosh, the real life of luxury. Oh my, this always happens to me. Oh, there we go. <gasps> oh my god, I'm scared. I'm scared. <gasps> oh wait, guys. Oh my god, wait. I just saw it. It's it's gorgeous, but it's intimidating. I forgot to mention that the front desk guy said that he upgraded me to an ocean view for no extra cost. 
That shook me. What a kind soul. I'm nervous. Okay. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. <gasps> Oh my god! I have chills. Oh my god, this is the nicest place I've ever stayed in. <gasps> okay, wait. Run, I left my champagne outside. Okay. I don't think you're ready for what you're about to witness. I'm shooketh to my core. This is what I just saw. Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh, look at the balcony, guys. Look at this. What? Look at the view. <gasps> I, I could cry. Oh my god, wait, what is that? Dear Mr. Mr. Callister, who is she? Look at this. Look at that bent light. Look, wait, is there a pillow mitt? No, but it's fine. Okay, I'm just gonna take my bags off and look at one thing at a time. This is too much to process. <sighs> okay, so starting at the door. We have a stunning door. We have this little light that is giving salt and pepper shaker. I love it. We have a full length mirror. Gorgeous. And then we have these massive closet type things. Let's see what's inside. Come on, robe. Is there a robe? Oh, what is this? A beach tote. That's cute. If I want to go to the beach, is there anything in it? No. No chocolates? Okay. We have a bunch of little things for, you know, all the designer shoes that I own. Flip flops from Amazon. These really fancy hangers. Oh, this is giving breakfast at Tiffany's. You know how like certain items are like delicious? This is delicious. I want to eat this. And then I guess this is for luggage. Now what's in this closet? Me! Just kidding. Oh, wait, what is this? Polished shoes? These almost like shoes. Oh, is it? Please place your shoes in the bag. Oh, excuse me. And then hanging outside the door handle by 1 a.m. Your shoes will be cleaned and returned by 7 a.m. Do you think they can clean my chocolate? Polish this queen. A laundry bag, wow. Okay, yeah, yeah, this is fancy, fancy. <gasps> slippers, slippers, oh my god, we have slippers. Okay, come on, Cinderella. Honestly, these are softer than the Ritz Carlton slippers. These are a lot more plush, even though they are still very thin. They're just not as papery. They're more cottony. Ugh. Yeah, this is next level. I have never stayed in a place that has all this. This is giving Gilmore girls when they visit the grandparents. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> like, can I have a cocktail on the rocks? This is water? <gasps> is it free? It says Pureza Premium Water Still. What does that mean? If it's standing still, is other water able to move? We have this really fancy coffee machine, a golden ice bucket. I'm sure it's real gold. <laughs> oh, sorry. Um, yeah, it's probably not real, but it's gorgeous. And then another coffee maker, I think. Okay, and one of these. I've always wanted to shake this. I've never done that. Yes. And some wine, which I'm definitely not gonna drink because <laughs> I just paid $50 for valet parking, okay? So, so far the budget is at 6.30. And now this is the bed. It looks extremely plush. Let me see. R. I bet that's what the cloud that Mary Poppins sat on felt like. Does this lamp work? Yes pure class and then we have a little tablet i guess i can order food through here yeah dining spa your room wow i'm gonna look through that later now what does this do oh it's a light this is all too much like it looks vintage but it's also high tech it's like the jetsons or something you know wow the thermostat is giving it's so smooth so modern what does this do oh Wait, what's it doing? Oh my gosh, it's dimming that light. Wait. Oh my goodness. Wait, and those two. Wait, it's all the lights. It's all connected. Oh my God, wait, watch this. All off. Oh my God. What's in the drawer? Any Last of Us mold? No, just classy air. Um, We have a phone. We have a little note thingy. There's some more switches here. There's a nighttime thing. What does that do? Oh, it just turns the lights off. Okay. That's cute. And then we have this stunning picture of a person catching something invisible, an invisible bird. And then we have this chair with a little table on it and this chair. I have to test those out in a second. And we have this long table with a little clock, a little lamp. I think that's a, that's a stereo type thing with a handle. It's giving picnic baskets, making me hungry. And then this, it's just a very long like little table thing across the whole room. So that's cool. Okay, let's see how this long mounted looking chair feels. Oh. I don't want you to see my crusty feet. Let's just hide them here. 
Ooh, I like it. You know, it isn't the most comfy thing ever, but it looks really nice and it makes you feel nice. Just last week I was staying at, <laughs> at the Holiday Inn, which was super nice. It was great. And they had one of these too, but it was like stained. <gasps> I forgot my black light. No. I mean, it's probably clean, let's be honest. But, oh, luxury. And now this pink chair. It's pretty. I like the rose gold color, but it isn't very comfy, so that's fine. Did someone open my door? What was that? Don't come for me. So now it's time to see the bathroom, and I'm very nervous. I caught a quick glimpse, and it looks really fancy, but I didn't get a good look, so let's see, guys. <laughs> ah! Oh! Lights on. Oh my God, I got chills again. <gasps> it's huge. Prepare yourselves. Oh my God. Oh my goodness gracious. It's giving pearls, it's giving platinums, it's giving rocks that have been unearthed that are expensive. There's little lights up here. The tub looks immaculate. Focus. We have a robe. Oh my god, yes. Ooh, this feels a lot thicker than the Ritz Carlton robe. Very plush, very thick. I'm shook. The sink area is just so gorgeous. I love these like sinks that like raise out of the sink. It's like I'm above you, girl. <laughs> Hand soap, a plant, a shower cap. What's in here? Makeup remover. Cotton swabs, cotton pads. Oh my gosh, they have everything. And now this is the toilet. Guys, even the toilet paper has its own little fancy house. I love this, I want one of these. Is it clean? Oh. Looks a little yellow. <laughs> oh, okay, wow, surprise! Okay, and then we have a trash right there and another toilet paper. Anything back here? No. And now this is the shower. It's a rainfall shower head. These are my favorites. Oh, and there's a seat and a bunch of little conditioners. We can look closely at that when I do the shower test, but this is incredible. Ooh, what is that? Oh, the blow dryer. It has its own house too. I was looking forward to something a little more fun in there, like a box of chocolates or something, but no, it's fine. Oh my God, there's a scale. There's a scale. And I will not be using this after my three mukbangs. <laughs> I'm just in shock. I was expecting like the Ritz level nice. This is, I think, twice as nice. I'm not joking. Anyways, let's go out onto the patio. <gasps> Ooh. Guys! <laughs> I was shook. So this is the view, girl. That is stunning. I'm so grateful. And it was a free upgrade. Like, are you kidding me? Look at this. And then we have some little benches here. We have a little table here. This is so great. I don't want to speak too soon, but so far, this room is a 10 out of 10, but I still have to test the bed, the shower, the food, obviously. So I'm just shook. Oh, wait, also, let's open up the gift. I hope it's free. You just never know what these places. What if they're like, you open the gift, so you have to pay. Let's see. I'm nervous. What is it? Ah! <laughs> Two hats? Two Four Seasons hats? Is this free? Is there a tag or something? It doesn't say a price. Two Four Seasons hats, guys. I love wearing hats now. Look how cute. I have a big head though, but. Oh yeah, it's too tight, but it's fine. I can fix it. This is such a nice gift. This is really incredible. I have never stayed at a place that is this, what's the word? Opulent. Okay guys, well, we have explored the room. Oh, I'm giving dad right now. I'm shooketh, I've never been this shooketh, I don't think in my life by a hotel room. So this is gonna be a great day. By the way, the room was ready for me the moment that I arrived, which was about three and a half hours early. So that's also incredible. They're on top of these things, girl. So I guess it's time to order room service. Let me get that tablet. Okay, let me see, dining. So they have a beach menu, breakfast menu, and a dinner menu. Let's do lunch and dinner. So snacks, they have totopas de maize, crispy seafood jalea, hamachi tiradito. Is this the type of menu that's so fancy that I'm not gonna understand what anything is? Let's go to soup. 
chicken noodle soup, miso soup, and tomato soup. I understood all of that, love that. There's some salads, not getting that. They have a Cuban sandwich, Creekstone burger, and a turkey club sandwich. They have pasta and Sicilian pizza, jerk chicken, Florida grouper, beef tenderloin, $90. $90. I've never spent that much on a meal. Maybe for dinner, I don't know. The sides are hand cut French fries, Yukon gold potato puree, grilled broccolini, coconut rice and peas, and truffle fries. And the desserts are key lime pie, warm chocolate chip cookies, and bahibi chocolate cake. Okay, so for lunch, I think I'm feeling like getting a burger. I know that's really, really basic, but it just sounds so good right now, guys. And it's a Four Seasons burger, so that's a real taste test right there. It comes with a brioche bun, cheddar cheese, house sauce, and pickles. Very simple. Okay, let's see how it tastes. I'm gonna get mine medium, choice of side, french fries, thank God a side is an extra. <laughs> Add to order, excited. And then I should get either an appetizer or a dessert. I think that for lunch, I'm gonna do a meal and a dessert, and then dinner, I'm gonna go all out and do an appetizer meal and a dessert, no matter what the cost. We're doing this, girls. We are living like a four season queen. So I'm gonna get the warm chocolate chip cookies as my lunch dessert. $18 for some cookies. <laughs> Live the fantasy, Timmy. Oh, that's nothing, that's, that's crumbs. And a fancy person would also get a very pricey soda, right? So I'm gonna get that. A Diet Coke is $6, that's not the worst. <laughs> price that I've seen. Okay, add to order. Okay, so burger, cookies, and Diet Coke. The subtotal is $54. Delivery fee is $6. Estimated taxes and a service charge is $15. Overall, it's $75 for lunch. And of course, I'm a tip as well. So it could get to 80-ish, $90. Oh! <laughs> it's fine. Okay, um, they said that they will deliver the meal at 2.05 p.m. What time is it? 1.05, so in one hour. That's not that bad. I have to pee. I still haven't peed. So while we wait, let's try on the robe. Guys, it's heavy. It's like a whole person. Oh, okay. It smells really clean. Oh my God, this is so much nicer than the Ritz. Whoa, it's so heavy. Ah. Oh, it's big too. It goes past my knees. Guys, I'm about to take off, girl. Guys, <laughs> the room service lady just came. First of all, she was so nice, but like literally treated me like a celebrity. Like, I'm not joking. She brought an empty table and I was like, where's the food? And I could smell it. I could smell like a burger, but I was like, where is it? Girl, there's a warmer under the table. Look at this. <laughs> so there's the warmer. The chocolate chip cookies are still in there. I haven't seen them. This is the burger, guys. Oh my God. It isn't even on like a room service plate. It's on like a, like a five-star plate. You know what I'm talking about? Look at the fries. We have some sauces, a plant, the toppings, salt and pepper. Is this the appetizer, girl? She asked me, where would you like to sit? And I was like, anywhere. <laughs> and she put the seat here for me. She was like, Mr. Alvarez, can I pour your soda for you? And I was like, don't worry about that. I can do it. It was like talking to an angel. It was incredible. I've never experienced any service like that in my life. Like I can't even describe it. She was so on point. Of course, I tipped her a lot. It went past $90, but it is worth it to give a good tip, girl. I'm going to put the robe on, set the camera up, and we're going to feast. Oh my God, guys. Wait, that light's bugging me. One second. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, don't look. Oh, this is too much. This place is too much. Oh. Ooh. Smells like spring, summer, fall. Let's begin. Oh, thumbnail. Okay. Let's try a fry. They look extremely crispy and golden. What if they're horrible? I'm scared. Ooh, I feel salt crystals. I got chills, girl. 
That's a perfect french fry. I think the Ritz also had perfect french fries, didn't they? Oh my god. Ketchup. That's good ketchup. That's weird. What is that? It's called Le Must. Ew. <laughs> what a name. It says Chef's Classic Ketchup, Vine Ripe Tomatoes, and Gourmet Spices. I can taste the spices. It tastes like special ketchup. It doesn't taste like your basic ketchup. Even the texture is a little more like, focus, focus, come on. Hello, Ariana, please. Okay, for real, oh, there, there, see? It's a little more like grainy, but like not in like a gross way, in like a homemade way. Mm. Wow, the fries are extremely crispy on the outside, like extremely. They're not oily, they're not greasy, they're salty, perfectly salted actually. Simple flavor, but it's the perfect simplicity. Oh my God. Now the ketchup tastes like ketchup meets a little bit of like mango maybe? It's incredible. Let me pause and focus on the burger. Fries are 10 out of 10. Ketchup 10 out of 10, girl. So this burger has, has a gorgeous bun, gorgeous beef patty, cheese, and house sauce. I am gonna add all the toppings. You guys know I love fresh toppings on a burger. Some onion, a little more onion, love a lot of onion, even though it affects my breath. We all have bad breath sometimes. Love pickles, tomato, one thick slice, and then this fancy lettuce. It's a little shriveled, it's fine. Well, it's not, it's a five star place. But it's fine. I don't care about that. Let's try the burger. I'm nervous. Please be good. Mmm. It's good. But it tastes like a burger. <laughs> you guys know I'm always honest, girl. The fries are incredible. Incredible. Wait, let me take some more bites. You know what? That's not medium. That's more like fully cooked. So it's giving it kind of like a rubbery, tough texture. Also, I can't really taste the house sauce. It doesn't taste like anything. It just tastes like a really pretty plain burger. So I'm gonna add some of this Le Must <laughs> Authentique Dijon Mustard. Ooh, wait, what's in that? From the Rhone Alps region of France. Girl, where's the bed bugs? Just kidding, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, for real though. It's very thick, let's just spread some on here. It definitely needs some, some kind of a pow of flavor. It's just very simple. Okay, that should help. Let's try it now. Mmm, that Dijon mustard is incredible. Le Must Condiments 8, girl. Oh, the patty's falling out, hold on. It's crumbling. Get back in there. This isn't the Holiday Inn. Mmm, much better. So the mustard has a very strong horseradishy flavor. It's also a little sweet, which is kind of different for a horseradishy mustard, you know? It's really good, really flavorful. Tastes really fancy and like unique. Tastes like something you'd expect from the fall sauce songs. Mm. Mm. I'm a I don't belong here. So am I a bit disappointed in the burger? Yes, I am. <laughs> Everything has been perfect, but this burger is just extremely mediocre. I would honestly compare it to something at Chili's, TGI Fridays. Oh, sorry. Now, it isn't too much more expensive than those. It is $30. TGI burgers and Chili's burgers can probably range from like $17, $18 maybe, right? So it isn't that much pricier, so I'm not too mad at it. And the fries did come for free, but it just really does taste like any restaurant could make this. And when you're at the Four Seasons, you, you want things to taste special, like these amazing fries. They, they actually really do taste special. Mmm. Oh! That was winter, it was cold. I mean, speaking of burgers, a couple days ago, I, I filmed my Culver's 24 hour challenge. That burger 
which was a lot cheaper than this, was better than this. I had to say it, girl. I had to say it. By the way, <laughs> at Culver's, I tried their Culver's signature sauce, right? One of the best things I've ever had. But after I posted that video, you guys let me know that that sauce has blue cheese in it. <laughs> I didn't taste a hint of mold, a hint of fungi, a hint of Last of Us. I didn't taste any blue cheese. It just tasted really Parmesan-y, which is a very different flavor than blue cheese. Get it right, girl. So does this mean that I like blue cheese now? Don't. Don't say it. I don't. I never will. Also, the fried portion might look small, but it's pretty big. This bowl is deep. There's a lot of them. So sadly, I'm going to have to give a burger <laughs> for being a Four Seasons burger a 3 out of 10. If this was like a Chili's taste test, I would give it a strong 5.5. But the expectations are set high when you're staying at the Four Seasons, and this just doesn't meet them at all. At least the fries slayed, and we still have cookies in the warmer. Here we go. I'm nervous. How do I open this? Is it hot? Where's the door? Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh, Ooh, they're nice and hot, guys. Oh my gosh, and they smell amazing. Wow. Now that's a presentation, girl. Anyways, these look incredible. Oh! No, I did not. 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 Oh my, five second rule. I'm gonna cry. $18. Guys, would it be horrible if I ate them? <laughs> oh my god. Did, did, did that just happen? That's never happened to me before. I can eat them. It's fine, right? I know that there's no such thing as a five second. Oh my god, I'm covered. Oh, it's brown. Okay. <laughs> I want to eat them. Don't do this at home. But I spent $18 on these cookies. And I... I Oh my god, I don't know if I should eat them. They're germy. I'm in my gross germ era. Can I like wash them? <laughs> Scrub them? I just know that there's gonna be some of you in the comments saying, Timmy, that is disgusting and vile of you. And then others are gonna say, how could you waste those cookies, Timmy? Oh, that texture. Guys, I feel so dumb that I dropped those. Oh my gosh, like how did I not realize that they would slide off of the plate? I was just in the moment. I'm living the fantasy. I'm gonna eat it. <laughs> I never do this, but it's the floor slices. They probably clean these floors real good, girl. I'm glitching. I don't taste the floor, it's fine. Oh my God. I'm having a moment. Life is beautiful. Oh. Oh my God. Oh my God, I can't stop, I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. Timmy can't come to the phone right now. Why? Cause he has a stutter and it makes him nervous. <laughs> It was worth the risk. I just want to apologize to all the people that are going to think that I'm disgusting. I hope you still love me. And I <laughs> that's a once in a lifetime cookie. I'm not joking. I'm so glad that I ate it. It was so worth it. Those are some of the best cookies I've had in my life. Possibly the best. I'm not joking. I'm not exaggerating. The texture is slightly doughy yet crispy on the outside, but it's not too doughy to where it's like falling apart. There's just enough chocolate in there and the chocolate tastes like such high quality from the Swiss mountains probably. She is the moment. Now come on now. The powdered sugar added a little bit of cold sweetness to the top. They were perfectly temper, temp, tempered, temper, temperaturized. Just the best cookies I've had, I think. I'm gonna save that one for later. Well, will the bacteria grow on it? Like over time, maybe, I don't know. How does that work? I'm not a scientist. The fries, perfection. Cookies, perfection. Burger, disappointing. But I have to say, overall, lunch was great because of those two standouts and the ketchup, girl. The ketchup and the mustard, incredible. I'm gonna relax for a bit and then we're gonna explore the whole premises. Good thing I brought Lysol wipes, girlies, not sponsored. 
but it can clean up all my little cookie crumbs. Okay, so it's time to explore the whole premises. I am in my swimsuit, so I can test out the pool. I have my GoPro with me too. This is the fit, it's giving. <laughs> Walmart on the bottom half, Four Seasons on the top half. You know, you gotta stay grounded. Let's go. Ooh, look at this art. A bag of oranges from Publix. A five. Abstract art is so interesting. A poster for White Lotus. <laughs> Let's go down to the lobby and explore that area first. And then um, the guy told me that the pool and the fitness center are on the third floor. We're gonna check that out. Oh, and of course, I'm going to the top floor. I love going to the top floor of every building. Feeling my ears pop. Ooh. One. Uno, puppy. Oh, my ears just popped. Okay, we are on the lobby floor. Let's be classy. My flip flops are so loud. <laughs> we have some rope and a very pretty vase and a big piece of fruit right here. It's giving lounge. It's giving laid back. Like I eat caviar and I drink champagne, but I'm also still a real human being. And then this area seems to be some sort of coffee or cappuccino area. I really don't know what these machines do. Alejandro probably would because he loves coffee. There's some sort of science experiment happening there with the steam. And then we have some big gorgeous machinery here as well if you need your caffeine fix. Get that energy, girl. We are outside. So there's the inside seating area and an outside seating area. This is very cute. The Four Seasons lobby does seem kind of small, but but it also feels kind of homey in a sense. They have like books and little knickknacks and things that like other fancy places don't have. It just makes it feel a little more chill, almost like a big lounge, you know? Now this is the path to the beach. You just go down here, down these steps, and then there's the beach right there. There are days when you feel like you don't matter, but then there are other days where you know that you're that girl. You're the mother that someone never had. You're the sister that someone always needed. And you are the main star of your own story. So go out there, live, laugh, love, pick me, choose me, <laughs> and live your fantasy. Don't wait any longer. The time is now. So this is what the outside of the building looks like. It's very tall, has an angle up there. I think the pool is up there. Okay, we are going, oh, don't close on me, girl. We're going to the third floor, which I don't need the key for. This is where the spa, the fitness, and the pool is. So yeah, basically everything important is on the third floor. Oh, excuse me, luxury. This is the spa area, I think. Very nice. There's some things to buy. The spa. <sighs> okay, fitness center's in there. Oh. I thought someone was going to come out. I got scared. Let's go in. Of course, if there's people exercising, we're going to be very respectful and not film them at all. This is the fitness center. Oh my gosh, look. Look at all the gorgeous yeah. little towels. Free apples. Oh my God, look at all these little drinks. Oh, it's all water, but still, it's free water. So cute. There's some bros working out. Bros, can I join? Can I join the lifting sesh? Look at this, guys. Look at the view over here next to the Stairmasters. Look at that. That is a gorgeous view, honestly. I can't film any other corners because there's people there, but very nice fitness center. Basically a full gym, free apples, free water, free towels. What more could you need, girl? And some bros. Just bros being bros, being them bro selves. Okay, so the pool's this way. Okay, ah, it's a heavy door. Evelyn's Fort Lauderdale. I think this is a restaurant right here. When I checked in, the guy told me that one of the pools was closed because they had to drain something. So I don't know if that's why there's a bunch of construction going on here, but I'm just gonna try to take a look and see if they like stop me from going close to it or something. Hello, how are you? Oh. Sorry? You need a towel? I'm a towel? Sure, I'll take one. You need a chair? Um, I can just sit, sit on any chair. Is that okay? You want me to put you up? No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. You don't have to send me up. Thank you so much. Okay, so I think that this pool is the closed one. It's gorgeous though, but they are, I'm working on it right now. Also, I think this is called an infinity pool because like the edges are like invisible. So it goes on forever, girl. Now I think I'm allowed to go into this pool, which is like a smaller pool, but it's still super nice. Wow, so this is like a little seating area below the pool where you have 
a truly amazing view of the beach, the Titanic over there. <laughs> it looks like it, doesn't it? Look at that gorgeous building, guys. The Conrad, who's he? Never heard of him. Both pools look a little small for, you know, a five-star place, but they look really nice. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go swimming because only the really small pool's open and it's kind of full of people. And I always feel awkward in a tiny pool with my GoPro because I have like a camera. It's just, it's, it's just an odd experience and everyone's just like trying to have fun. I'm sure it's a very <laughs> nice temperature. I'm sure it's a great pool. I just don't know if I can test that because the big one is closed. It's not my fault. So now let's go to the very top floor and see what it's like. I hope there's windows so we can see the view. I love that. Okay, girlies, it is the 17th floor. Go. It won't, <gasps> no. It only lets me go to my own floor? Hold on. Let me try like seven. No, <gasps> only nine. Oh my God, it's a smart elevator girl, AI. So I can't see the top floor unless I'm staying on the top floor? It is probably like the suites and stuff like that. So they probably want those people to have their privacy. It might be like celebrities and stuff, like who knows, you know? I guess that's everything that we have to see. But I don't want the exploring session to be over. So let's go to the beach. Let's do it. So apparently the Four Seasons have, have their own like section of the beach. So we're gonna go to the exclusive ocean. Look both ways. No, definitely can't go yet, girly. Okay. I can go at least halfway. Okay. We're here. Wow, that was easy. Oh my God. A little chicken. Just kidding. <laughs> it reminds me of, of when Kylie Jenner, no, sorry, when when Kris Jenner brought home like a pig and Kylie was like, is that a chicken? Girl, the water is so nice. Literally God said, let's make it the perfect temperature today just for him. Yay. Ooh. It's magical. Fun fact, I have a fear of, of going in the ocean, unless if it's like just my feet, because when I was about, I think 17 maybe, a jellyfish wrapped its whole body around my ankle. It like hugged me, it was like, girl, I need love. And I said, this is a toxic kind of love. Should I face my fears and go into the ocean itself? I'm scared, I have my GoPro, so that'll keep me safe. Let's do it. Let's do it. There's a lot of people. If something happens to me, they'll save me. I'm scared, guys. I'm just looking for sharks. Oh my god. Oh, oh, I'm deep, girl. Uh, hi. Should I go completely under? Ah, God. Oh my God, okay. Oh, it's in my eyes. This is probably not good for my dry eye. That was fun. Okay, I think I'm done. <laughs> Let's go home. <laughs> oh, luxury. Guys, my feet are giving graham cracker crust. Buttery flaky crisp. Is there like a, is there like a shower to wash my feet? <gasps> oh, there is. Oh, good. Do I have any bookies? I feel like I do. Uh, the salt water is burning my eyes. My dry eye specialist is gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what a Jojo? I think this is the best view of the building so far. See that? Four seasons. And we're back. So easy, love that. Okay, so it's time to test out the shower and the tub, girl. So when I tried to test out the tub at the Ritz, the water was yellow. And I thought that it was like dirty, you know? But some of you let me know that that's just like the color of the water in certain areas. And this hotel is in the same area as the Ritz. So if the water's yellow, I'm just gonna take a bath still and just, you know, <laughs> bask in the yellowness. Oh, delicious. But first let's test out this stunning shower. Now, how am I gonna do this? Because there's a door and I can't keep it open because all the water's gonna come out. I think for the shower, I'm gonna use my GoPro. That's what we're gonna do, girly. Okay, the water's gonna come from up above. Can you hear me? I know that the microphone on this thing is really bad. Ah! This is such a big room. Also, guys, right now, my upper back is very hairy. I have to shave it. Don't look at it, okay? I'm insecure about it right now. Ooh. Oh, this is 
the best shower ever. I'm not joking. Wow. Let's smell the shampoo. Ooh! It smells like really strong perfume. Like bad perfume. Sorry about it. It does. Oh, this is so relaxing. And now the shower gel. Same smell. Strong. Ooh. Okay, guys, so there's these like Cuban perfumes that are like super cheap. Alejandro used to have one of them. <laughs> and I made him throw it away because it smells so strong. I am typically not that kind of light, but it was so strong that I couldn't be around it. It was disgusting. And this smells like that. So I'm not a fan of the shampoos or the body washes here, but the actual shower itself is genuinely incredible. I adore it. I'm very happy with this girl. Let me try to use this. Let me do this. Ah, yes. Ooh, I'm not a fan. Too much work. Okay, let's see. Is it gonna be yellow? Uh, no, maybe. Okay, it might look a tiny, tiny bit yellow, but like I said, it's probably an issue with the area. So it's whatever. Is it filling up? I can't tell. Yeah, it's definitely looking a little bit yellow, but it's fine. Let's get in, girls. Okay. Ah, ah, ooh. Very good temperature. The pecs are packing. Oh. Ooh, that deep. Oh, the water pressure is like really strong, yet the stream looks really clear. Do you know what I'm talking about? Oh! Let me try to lay down. Come on. Oh, wow, this is very big. Hi! <laughs> this is really relaxing. I am only 5'7, but I, I am a grown man, and I fit actually perfect in it. Like, my feet are touching the end of the tub. I think the shower and the tub are both perfection. 10 out of 10 for both. Oh my God, guys, so this really nice lady just um, came to my door and was like, would you like down, uh, turn, no, down service or turn down service tonight? I think that means like when they like make your bed for you. What do they do, tuck you in? <laughs> so I was like, oh no, that's okay, don't worry about it. And then she was like, do you want ice? And I was like, oh, don't worry about it. And then she was like, do you need anything? And I was like, no, I'm good, thank you, queen. She was so nice. That's so interesting. Anyways, it's six o'clock. So that means it's dinner time, girl. And I'm surprisingly very hungry. So let's get the tablet. It's the same menu. Um, I think I'm gonna get the classic chicken wings as my appetizer. $28. It says classic chicken wings, buffalo sauce, blue cheese, celery, carrot. Um, I'm gonna ask for ranch in instead of blue cheese. Ranch instead of blue cheese. Now, for the actual meal, we have pasta, including bucatini pasta and pom... pom... <laughs> sorry. Pomodorino sauce. Sound it out, Timmy, sound it out. Vesuvio pasta and lamb ragu. Lamb ragu. And then we have pizza sulimi and pizza San Marzano. I don't know what any of that means. And then there's the jerk half chicken as well. Beef tenderloin. And then for the dessert, I have two options, key lime pie or bahibi chocolate cake. I'm not a big key lime pie person, so we're gonna do the bahibi chocolate cake. Pizza sounds kind of good, guys. Chicken wings, pizza, and a dessert? That's a vibe. So they have pizza sa salumi, which has salami, rosemary focaccia, sopraceta picante, mozzarella, San Marzano tomato, and fresh oregano. I just have to look up what sopraceta picante is because I don't know what that is. I just always have to make sure that like something isn't blue cheese or like part of the blue cheese family. I used to not know what gorgonzola was until I got it on my pizza and I couldn't eat it because it had mold. So sopraceta picante is uncured spicy salami. Oh yeah, oh yeah, girl. We are doing the pizza salamu, classic chicken wings, and then the bahibi chocolate cake. Oh yeah. So this meal overall without tip is $92.90. So it's gonna be over $100 for this meal. <laughs> Sending the order. I'm excited for my pizza salamu. It'll be delivered by 7.15 in the next hour. Love that. So I've been laying on the bed. Of course, I'm not gonna like get into the sheets 
until it's like bedtime but oh my gosh guys it's so comfy this pillow i love it it's like oh my gosh i can feel the feathers it is legit just the perfect texture it's so plush yeah you don't sink all the way to the bottom it's just it's wonderful so comfy so far okay guys so first of all the lighting might be horrible i'm sorry wait hold on how do i turn this one off i just want to turn off this one just this how do i do that I know how to turn them all off. There's no switch for it. Hello? Whatever, anyways, the lighting's probably gonna be really bad because the sun went down, but guys, the f oh! We don't want a second mishap, girl. The food looks incredible. So, first of all, let me move the plant out of the way. Move all these little things out of the way. We have the wings. Look at these, girl. They do look very simple, but I have a little thing of buffalo sauce here. Ooh, and a little thing of ranch here. And then we have the pizza. Now, this really surprised me because it is on like a loaf of bread. <laughs> do you see what I mean? It's like a cake pizza. It's a pizza that said, girl, I want to be thick. And it's not thick in the same way that like Chicago pizza's thick, like deep dish. It's like actual thick bread. So I hope it's not dry. Now dessert looks incredible. By the way, she like set up everything for me once again. It was a different girl. We had the best conversation. We were talking about Florida, all these different things. And my job ended up coming up and I was like, I'm actually taste testing all this food. And she told me that most of these items are like brand new and they just started serving them yesterday. So I'm one of the first people to try them. So this is a real taste test. She was so incredibly nice, and the bill was, I think, almost 110. Oh, and she deserved a big tip. But anyways, we have the chocolate cake, and guys, it has gold on it. It has <laughs> legit gold flakes, gold crustification, and raspberries. I'm salivating. Let's start with the chicken wings. I'm gonna first taste it with just the buffalo, okay? By the way, they're, they're pretty big. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight wings, okay? Let's try it. Just making sure it's cooked. Mmm. Is it? Yeah. Yummy. Mmm. I always, sorry, sorry, I keep staring at it. I'm just trying to make sure it's cooked. I always get paranoid. Mmm. A lot of meat, girl. So the wing itself has a very simple flavor. It is literally just like fried, salted chicken. But the quality of the chicken is fantastic, as to be expected. It's the Four Seasons. So, they do need the buffalo sauce, but every wing needs a sauce, hello. And with the buffalo sauce, they're fantastic. They do taste like any really good wing that I've had, so nothing special, but they taste great, so I'm happy with it. Mmm. No? Mmm. The buffalo sauce has a little sweetness to it. It's sweet and spicy and tangy. It's a really nice buffalo sauce. It tastes unique. I love that. Let's try it with the buffalo sauce and the ranch, girl. Oh, the ranch poured over. Sorry, it's very full. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my God, delicious. Mm-hmm. In the famous words of Zaddy Ronald, Baja, Baba Bo, <laughs> I'm loving it. By the way, guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I did paint my nails. Do you see them? They're like a metallic green. I just felt like I was representing the earth, the seasons with the green, you know? Like it's giving life, it's giving mother nature. It's giving, I just spent $100 on pizza and <laughs> wings. Mm-hmm. The ranch, by the way, tastes really good. It's also a little sweet but it works very well. Okay, I'm gonna pause on the wings. It's time to try the pizza. Now, am I disappointed in the size? Maybe. It looks like it's probably gonna be filling, but it does look small. Let's be honest here, right? 
It does. And sometimes that's okay. Sometimes it's okay to be dainty. The cheese looks a little weird, does it not? It's a little, um, what's the word? Crusty. Oh, look at the bottom though. Let's try and crust. Mmm. Mmm. It's very bready. Um, first of all, the salami tastes like pepperoni. I know it's called pizza salamu, it should be called pizza pepperonu. The focaccia is quite delicious. It's real crispy, real fluffy. But my issue with this meal is it isn't giving pizza, it's giving cheese bread. Do you get me? Because it's mostly bread with a little bit of cheese. Now, the cheese does have a nice sharp flavor, so we love that. The pepperoni tastes like any pepperoni. It does not taste like salami. It tastes like any pepperoni ever. The tomato sauce does taste quite refreshing and tangy and tart. So I love that. It goes great with the salty cheese. But overall, it kind of tastes like a really thin layer of any old pizza on top of a thick focaccia. <laughs> The bottom of the crust actually reminds me of like a, a pan pizza, like a Little Caesars pan pizza. <laughs> the fact that something from Four Seasons is reminding me of Little Caesars probably isn't a good sign, but I'm still enjoying it. It's just, once again, not to the standard I was expecting, you know? I'm gonna give the chicken wings a strong eight out of 10. They're great, not incredible, but there's nothing wrong with them. I'm gonna have to give the pizza, I think, ooh, for the four seasons, and this is not on purpose, a 4.5. <laughs> I just feel like, honestly, I could enjoy a Domino's pizza a little more than I'm enjoying this. And that's Domino's. I don't think it tastes bad. I just think that the idea of it is just kind of off. I don't think they should call this pizza. I think they should call it like cheesy bread. Cheesy pepperoni bread. <laughs> Guys, my, my eyes feel extra dry. I think it's because of the salt water. But honestly, for the past like week, let me close this up more. Come on, Timmy. You're on a classy establishment. What I was saying was my eyes have been feeling a little extra dry this past week and I don't think that the salt water helped. And it's kind of stressing me out too because I spent a lot of money on different dry eye therapies that really did help me a lot. But now that I finished the therapies, they feel dry again. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, nar. Am I gonna have to do more? Or just suffer? Girl, whatever. Okay, it's time for the dessert. Now I have high hopes, because this really does look amazing. If you look at the sides, it's all coated in like chocolate. And then there's some little like raspberry farts right here. Oh, please don't slide off, girl. Oh, it just slid into the raspberry, sorry. Okay, let's break into this little cake. Ooh. Oh, oh, <gasps> R, <gasps> ooh, look at the inside. Look at that, layers. I've never seen a cake with layers in my life. This is new territory. Let's get a gold flake in the first bite. Raspberry whipped cream, everything. Oh, and some of this raspberry sauce, okay. Chocolate shell is so strong that I can't taste anything past it. Hold on. Let me get a better bite of cake. Let me just try to get it without the shell. Okay, that's better. There we go. Let's see now. Mmm. Ah. Oh. Ugh. Shell, I don't want to be rude, but I think you don't belong here. Tasting the shell by itself. The shell tastes like malted candy, you know, like Whoppers. It has that flavor, plus a really strong dark chocolate flavor. 
It's just too rich, I think. But the cake without the shell is stunning. It's perfectly moist. The mousse in the middle, perfectly light, perfectly airy. Nothing is too rich. The whipped cream is heavenly. The raspberry is so fresh. This raspberry sauce is really tart and refreshing. I love that sauce. So I'm just gonna leave the shell behind, sorry. Sorry, turtle. <laughs> and I'm gonna eat everything else. Wow. I am kind of disappointed in this cake. I just feel like when you're at the Four Seasons, everything should just be effortlessly delicious. And a lot of these items aren't. There's a lot of mousse in the back of the shell here. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. So I'm glad that part of the cake was good. I just wish that I didn't have this overly rich, overly powerful shell. It did ruin this chocolate cake experience for me. Like, who wants to eat their chocolate cake out of a shell? I'm like, scraping it out. I don't, but that's what I'm doing. Let's just go over today's food. Burger, mediocre. Fries, amazing. Cookies, amazing. Cake, too rich. Chicken wings were good. Pizza was weird and not that great. So I think we've had more misses than hits. Actually, I think it's evenly split, but the fact that 50% of these items have been misses, at least for me, and I'm at the four seasons spending all this coin on it, is not good. Nar. I kind of want to lie and say, that was so satisfying. Oh, my stomach. Oh, I'm so happy right now. So good. But the truth of the matter is, only 50% of my stomach is happy. And I have three stomachs, so one and a half. <laughs> so, <laughs> even the fort gave up, girl. But um, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. That's all I can say. Let's hope the breakfast slays me, guys, okay? If it really slays me, that will mean that more of the items were good rather than bad. So that would really help the overall score. Everything else besides the food has been absolutely glorious. So I'm still very happy to be here. I'm going to go to bed in a couple hours and we shall test out the bed. Good morning. <laughs> guys, I'm so sorry. Last night I passed out. And I forgot to film my little good night bed moment situation type deal. I'm so upset about it. But guys, I slept in this luxurious bed with all these pillows. And I'm not surprised that the bed is perfect. The mattress is perfect. So comfy. It's probably like a tump of Pudzok or something. Something fancy. And then the pillows are so comfy like i just fell asleep so deep i didn't wake up once and it was so wonderful it was perfect the bed is a 10 out of 10 i look like <laughs> insane right now i'm sorry uh, the boy who lived anyways i'm gonna get up in a second and we're gonna order breakfast room service let's hope it's good guys guys look at this stunning view how's the titanic still there it's been there forever oh my god 8 a.m on a wednesday Clouds are perfect, stunning. It looks very picturesque. Oh, sorry, that was loud. Don't look. Okay, let's order breakfast. I'm gonna miss this thing. Can I take it home? Probably not. Breakfast. <laughs> okay, so they have ancient oatmeal. <laughs> ancient oatmeal made by a T-Rex with his tiny arms. Overnight oats, avocado toast, smoked salmon, regional fruit, yogurt. And then they have a three egg omelet, two eggs with sides, buttermilk pancakes, and then some pastries. Oh, it's, it's a very small menu. So we're gonna do the two eggs. I'm gonna get them scrambled with a choice of breakfast protein. Let's do turkey, bacon, bacon, pork sausage. Let's do pork sausage, that sounds so good. And then a choice of toast, um, sourdough. Okay, love sourdough. That is a $26 meal. Let's also do the buttery flaky milk pancakes. Um, it comes with strawberry rose compote, vanilla bean chantilly. <laughs> Who is she? Never heard of Miss Chantilly. And, and mint. The pancakes are $20. Wait, I just realized that the breakfast only comes with toast, eggs, and sausage? No, potatoes? Can I get potatoes as a side? Sumac breakfast potatoes? $12 extra. 
Let's do it, girl. Okay, so my breakfast is two eggs, pork sausage, sourdough toast, sumac breakfast potatoes, and buttermilk pancakes. It's $80.12, so with tip, it'll be 90 some to $100. This is really the video where I've gone the most all out, and I feel very proud of myself. I've just gotten what I've wanted and not, ah, and tried not to think about prices too much, you know, because that's not what staying at the Four Seasons is about. So, yay. Okay, girlies, the food has arrived. Now, <laughs> the egg meal actually came with potatoes and they didn't state it on the menu. So now I have double potatoes and the side of potatoes is actually quite a big side. Let me show you everything. So this is the main meal. The eggs are like shaped into a little egg pie, a little egg cake. <laughs> and then we have some very succulent looking sausages and some potatoes. Now that is a very dainty portion compared to the side of potatoes, girl. Oh my God, that's a big side, see that? That's a lot of taters. And then we have the pancakes, which are massive. And there's three of them. Yeah, three of them. Look at that flap, girl. Those look incredible. Then we have the vanilla chantilly and the strawberry compote. It looks more just like strawberries with a little bit of juice in there, but still looks good. And then we have the sourdough bread in there. And we have, oh, what is this? Oh, fancy beurre uh, de barrette de excellence dux. Is that butter? It doesn't say butter anywhere. And then we have some le must syrup. Ooh, and some le must. More ketchup, yes. Oh my God, this is the best ketchup ever. <laughs> we have some mango passion fruit jam. Don't look at my crusty thumb, sorry about that. It's all peeling, sorry. <laughs> it's dry. And then we have some sweet, <laughs> some sweet orange jam and some strawberry jam. Oh, I'm ready, girl. Okay, girlies, the final Four Seasons meal of this little adventure. This has been so much fun, even though the food has been kind of mediocre. But let's hope this is amazing. I hope this can slay me. So let's first eat the salty stuff. Imagine the whole egg slides off. <laughs> I'm like, not the chicken. Let's see that texture up close. Oh, oh, okay. That was, ooh, that was probably a very grating sound, I'm sorry. Let's see, guys. Huh! Mm. Oh my god. Oh, yay. Guys, these eggs. Our perfection girl. Um, I'm so happy. Mmm. Hello. They're so creamy. So extremely buttery. Perfectly cooked. They taste like a French egg. Even though I have never had a French omelet, I imagine it would taste like this. Mmm. Oh my god. Eggs are 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Okay, now let's try one of these breakfast potatoes. I think that they use little mini, like, fingerling potatoes. Let's see. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my God. Yay. Yeah. Oh, they're good. Mmm. Let me try it with the La Must. Come here, La Must. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, my. Come on, Elon Must. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm not a big fan of him. But I don't like to talk about people on my channel, so I'm not gonna talk about him. Oh. I can't open this. Oh, I got it. Oh. There's a little bit of a red pepper smell in there, too. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hello? Stunning. It goes so well with these potatoes. So, I was a little worried that these potatoes would taste more like a dinner potato. Because they're made out of these little fingerling potatoes, you know what I mean? But, they taste like breakfast potatoes. I feel like they're seasoned like breakfast potatoes. 
they're salty, they're flavorful, they're kind of garlicky. Also, they have this like kind of like crispy kind of seasoned crust on them that makes them also taste more like breakfast potatoes. Mm hmm Mm. Also, the fact that they are made with these little potatoes is a good thing because they're so creamy on the inside, which is kind of rare for a breakfast potato. I'm going to give those potatoes a nice strong 9 out of 10. Mm -hmm. Now let's try the pork sausage. <laughs> Holy shit! Um, I'll be right back. Um, let's just get a close up of this texture right here. Focus. Okay, it looks normal, <laughs> okay? Doesn't taste normal. It's very rare that I have to take something out of my mouth because I don't like it that much. And this is one of those times. I think it's the texture. For some reason, the texture feels like sushi. It feels like rice in a sausage wrapping. A lot of little tiny separate sausage pieces that just really felt so weird and mushy and just icky, 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 icky. Sometimes you just can't even explain the ick, but this has a big ick, okay? Also the flavor, eh, it just tastes like a very light, light sausage. Not much flavor, very timid. So that super tame, light sausage flavor with this ricey texture is a horrible combination. I'm gonna have to give it a one out of 10. I'm really shook by that. That is horrible sausage in my opinion. Out of the four seasons, girl. No. Thankfully, the eggs and the taters are fantastic. Mmm. Okay, I already finished that whole plate besides the sausage. But I do have extra taters, a lot of them, so yay. Give me one. Get in there. I couldn't fit it in there, so I'm just gonna. <laughs> And then it mixes in the mouth. Okay. So, so far, besides the sausage, we're good to go. Now let's try the toast. We got one piece of sourdough here sliced. It's barely toasted. I mean, it tastes like good bread, but it's barely toasted. Just on the little tips. Kind of sad about that. I wish it was actually toasted. Okay, let's try this butter. I think it's butter. Very fancy looking. Okay, let's take this little short knife. Oh, it's very soft butter. Wow, creamy. Creme fraiche. Oh my God, get off of there. This is the Four Seasons. Okay, butter and toast. Toast. The butter tastes good. Could be a little saltier, but it tastes like really good quality, so that's good. Now let's try some of these La Must jams. We got strawberry. Just a little bite of each because I don't want to get too full before I try the pancakes. Okay. Tastes like any jam from the store. <laughs> not a bad thing, but not La Must. I must buy it. No, girl. Sweet orange. Let me see here. <gasps> That's not sweet. <coughs> oh, what is that? Oh. <coughs> it tastes like perfume. 
Hume. Uh, oh. You know when you, oh my god. When you walk past someone that just sprayed perfume and you get some in your mouth, it tastes just like that. It's like that bitter perfume flavor. Super strong. That is horrible. That tastes like a, like, like almost like chemicals. Oh my God, La Must. You're doing La Most. And then last but not least, we have Passion Mango. Come on, girl, impress me, please. Passion Fruit Mango does sound like a very exciting flavor, so that's good. Mmm, mm. okay. At least it's better. It's getting that, um, potpourri flavor out of my mouth. It's definitely very sweet. To be honest, it has more of a honey flavor to it than a mango or passion fruit flavor to it. I'm not really impressed with it either, but compared to the orange one, it's like amazing. <laughs> Gotta be honest, I'm not a big fan of those jams or the toast. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I sound really picky, but I'm just being totally honest. Now let's try the pancakes. So let's first just put the toppings on them. And then if it needs it, we can add a syrup. Sometimes the toppings are enough and you don't need syrup, you know? Okay. So this vanilla Chantilly is just whipped cream, right? Like vanilla whipped cream. Spread that all around. Nice and coated. Okay. And then the strawberries, plop. Okay. So I'm excited. I love pancakes. Yeah, it's fluffy. There's no way you can mess up a pancake. Even if it's like flat or like tough, it still tastes like a pancake, right? Or, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Mmm. Okay. Mm. I'm very happy. It doesn't need syrup. These are incredible, guys. Look at that. Incredible. So first of all, the vanilla chantilly is delicious. It does just taste like vanilla flavored whipped cream, but I'm fine with that. Simple. The strawberries taste very fresh. They don't taste like a compote, but they taste freshly cut. So <laughs> at least there's that. But the pancakes themselves are genuine perfection. They have that pancake flavor, but they're actually a little bit sweeter than your typical pancake. They almost taste a little bit like an actual cake. And so to me, they don't need syrup because the strawberries add some fresh brightness and some sweetness and the pancakes are, are already a bit sweet. They're also very fluffy, but at the same time, really moist. Mmm. Fabulous. I'm so happy right now. Mmm. I all the good stuff. I wasn't paying attention. Well, I'll try the syrup now too then. La must syrup. Okay, boys. Ooh. It's all stuck. Go down. Oh, there's a shirtless daddy on his patio, girl. Okay. <laughs> Focus to me! This luxurious life is full of distractions and you gotta keep it grounded, girl. But here's a zaddy. I think it's putting on suntan lotion. Oh, girl. Okay. Let's try it with La Must Sarapa. Oh, that was a shockwave. This is pure organic Vermont maple syrup. So this is the real stuff. I don't like the real stuff, it turns out. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had real maple syrup. Tastes different. Tastes more earthy and more tree-y. Isn't syrup from a tree? In all seriousness, it does taste a bit more um, sweet with less flavor, if that makes sense. It's like too sweet. I don't know. But overall, the pancakes were amazing. Pancakes were 10 out of 10. Eggs, 10 out of 10. Potatoes, 9 out of 10. Sausage, we are never mentioning that again. It does not exist. Overall, breakfast was pretty good. I'm stuffed, I'm satisfied, I'm happy. It was a lot better than dinner, that's for sure. So the Four Seasons experience is over. I have to go shower 
and then check out. But I had the best time. I'm so grateful that I got to experience a place like this. I have never been to a place like this and it was honestly life changing, girl. So room, 10 out of 10. Shower, 10 out of 10. Bed, 10 out of 10. The amenities, they were great. Like the gym was fantastic. The spa looked great. The pools looked fine. So amenities, 10 out of 10. Like they, like they don't have a ton of them, but for what they have, I feel like it's good quality. So everything is basically perfection besides the food. Now, I have to admit, the Ritz Carlton had better food than the Four Seasons, but Four Seasons had better everything else than the Ritz Carlton. Do you get me? I'm gonna give the food a five out of 10. I'm sorry. And I'm not talking about like how it's made, things like that. I'm just talking about like menu items. Like what was that pizza last night? Like who thought of that concept? What was that chocolate coated dessert? Who thought of that? So it's not like the chef's fault. It's like the people that make the menus. If the food was perfect, I would have given the Four Seasons a perfect score, 10 out of 10. But because it's not, I'm gonna have to downgrade it to a 7.5 out of 10. I know that's 2.5 points off, but the food to me is extremely important when I do these reviews. That's that's the main star. And if the food is iffy, then the score's gotta drop a little bit. So 7.5 out of 10 for the Four Seasons. Other than the food, I had a ball, truly a ball. I feel like a princess at the ball. And once again, I am so grateful to you guys for supporting me and watching this video and because of you, I am able to do things like this. So thank you. And remember, give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It really does help me out, girl. Subscribe. I'll see you next video. I love you so much. Bye, guys. Mwah! And so it's been said that winter, spring, summer, fall, this is the end of it all. Doctor, is this stop possessing me? <laughs>